Hi traders, this is Mikael Fuge from beststrategiesfortrading.com. This is my first video for my new website and blog about trading, technical analysis and strategy backtesting. In this video I'm going to explain my opinion about why technical analysis is working and how I use it as a pro trader and investor. First, technical analysis or TA is the common name used by professional traders when they try to predict the movements in the market made by the general investors. TA is also a name that average investors in large number are using when they want to determine at what price levels they want to buy or sell a stock. This could be intentional or unintentional. This might sound confusing, but I will try to explain how it works. So we go to the screen and I will show you. In any market you have two major participants. There is the buyer and there is the seller. Where the buyer believes in a future higher price of the stock and the seller believes in the opposite. There is almost always a conflict in the stock market between the buyers and the sellers. This conflict or this fight is an ongoing process and is more or less intensive. You can call it volatile. Depending on the time for the action and at what price the stock is trading. If the price quickly goes up, the buyer has temporarily won the fight. And if the price goes down, it is the seller who has the upper hand. Far from everyone is using advanced technical tools like MACD, RSI, Candlestick, EMA or Booling Bands on a daily basis, but enough people use easy to remember who will run numbers like 500, 100, 1000 or prior symbolic price levels like peaks, troughs or other pivots for reasons to make the exact decision where to sell or where to buy a stock. Additionally, intentional or unintentional, enough investors have been using well-known technical tools and methods like the daily 200 moving average, trend line, pivots and the Fibonacci numbers for making trading decisions. Those methods have always been easy to understand and use and they were all available for more than a century ago without the need for great computer powers like we have today. As a war analogy, the successful traders see one team of the market coming rapidly over the open field. In the market you can say short. They're coming in small numbers, driving the price before them. At that moment, the professional trader quickly joins the opposite team who are secretly and often in large number hiding coordinated at a certain price level and waiting for a counterattack if the opponent get too close. The pro trader then helps to ambush the weaker team to temporarily defeat and push them back. After a while, when both teams are starting to get equal strong again, the pro trader leaves that war and start to look for another easy to win battle. With that description of TA or technical analysis, it's a huge difference to just say that you use it once in a while than what we do as a professional traders when we do it every day and we try to improve our skills all the time for years and years and years. It's like anything else in life. You can say that you can play football and of course you do it once in a while with your friends and you can be might be pretty good at it but it's a completely different that if you support yourself as a professional football player that needs a lot more training a lot more uh, skills and uh, time you have to put into it and also i can understand that it might sound offensive to people that like fundamental analysis average investor if I just draw a random line on a chart and tell you that the price will change direction when it come up to that line 
it will sound strange but remember that line if it's drawn correctly that line represents the end product of math psychology and group thinking in the market and one word to all the skeptics that argue that you can't find any academic study that prove that TA will work in the long run and of course they are right you won't find an academic study that show that technical analysis will work for a long period of time because it's a competition and you compete all the time with the, the, all the other members in the market the ones who want to sell and the one who wants to buy because you need to buy cheaper than the other ones and you need to sell the stocks more expensive than all the other ones if you do that you become profitable and it's like in sports you won't never find an academic study that show you exactly scientifically how you will win the Olympics in 100 meter running or how you as a manager will lead your, your country, your team to the championship in, in soccer, in FIFA. You won't find it. That was all for today. This was only the basic about my opinion how technical analysis is working and why I'm using it. In future videos I will start presenting both basic the basic concept of all the well-known TA methods like the RSI, the boolean bands, the trend lines, the moving average and so on. And more important I will start to present my result from all the backtesting that I've done. How will a boolean band system how effective will that be on all the S&P 500 stocks for the last 10 or 20 years. So please subscribe to this channel if you like it or tell your trader friends that you have saw some interesting video. And of course if you have by yourself a nice system that you want to, to tell me about and I, I will try to backtest it uh, against European stocks, against uh, American large cap stocks for the last five years, how they act during the dot com crisis, or try to tweak it and twist it all the way around to find out is this a good strategy that will work in the long run. So that was all for today. And if you want to know more, uh, look into this channel on YouTube uh, and uh, go to the website beststrategiesfortrading.com Thanks for today!